Didn't know today would be our last Or that I'd have to say goodbye to you so fast I'm so numb I can't feel anymore I'm praying you just walk back through that door and tell me that I was only dreaming You're not really gone as long as I believe There will be another angel Around the throne tonight Your love lives on inside of me And I will hold on tight it's not my place to question, only God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels around the throne tonight Always made my troubles feel so small And you were always there to catch me when I'd fall In a world where heroes come and go Where God just took the only one I know so I'll hold you as close as I can Longing for the day when I see your face again But until then, God must need another angel around the throne tonight your love lives on inside of me And I will hold on tight It's not my place to question Only God knows why I'm just jealous of the angels Around the throne tonight Singing hallelujah about sweet day she. You left your beautiful baby You left your beautiful baby as a reminder of your time with us. You don't have the words at this time but only God knows we will always love you my high angel and rest easy and eternal peace.
to motivate her colleagues who, at times, got discouraged due to the challenges caused by the demands of the job. We were truly looking forward to her making a full recovery and rejoining us in the fight to make our nation's children safe. The Acting Commissioner of Police, the Executive, and Woman Sergeant, Mrs. Claire Guy Allen, who is currently in charge of the Special Victims Department, of which the Child Protection Unit is a part, as well as the entire unit, and myself take this opportunity to thank the family. We truly thank the family. Mommy, Sharon Nicholson Charles, Assistant Superintendent, Dave Spence, Senior, Husband, Principal Jabari Samuel, as well as her siblings, for the opportunity of sharing the show with the Child Protection Unit, and by extension, the Child Protection Police Service. She was truly an officer to be reckoned with, as the manner in which she discharged her investigative duties was far and so low. I'm seeing it literally. I'm not exaggerating. We at the Child Protection Unit will always cherish the beautiful memories of Deisha. It is with a broken heart that we at the Child Protection Unit and the Special Victims Department must say goodbye at this time. For us, it's goodbye too soon. She was truly a great asset to the organization and will be greatly missed, not only in terms of her ability to discharge her duties with excellence, but also as a person for whom she really was. So thank you all very much. Have a start. Presently all, I am Superintendent Subash Rampilawan. I'm in charge of the community-oriented policing section of Trent Tobago Police Service. Today, I am tasked with just saying a special thanks to the family, friends, well-wishers, loved ones of our deceased sister. This is no big task, but it's a very tough task to say goodbye to a great one, a great soul. So on behalf of the Commissioner of Police, the Executive of the Trent Bingo Police Service, First and Second Division Officers, and all the loved ones within the circle of the TTPS, we simply want to say in honor and in memory of our fallen comrade, we want to present the family with a framed photograph and flag of the Trent Bingo Police Service. Thanks for sharing they shall with us. We will, in fact, keep all her service in our memory as we go forward. God bless the family. Sisters, we have come together to renew our trust in Christ, who by dying on the cross has freed us from eternal death and by rising has opened for us the gates of heaven. Let us pray for our sister Desha that she may share in Christ's victory. And let us pray for ourselves that the Lord may grant us the gift of his loving consolation. 
O God, to whom mercy and forgiveness belong, hear our prayers on behalf of your servant, Geshel, whom you have called out of this world. And because she has put her hope and trust in you, command that she be carried safely home to heaven and come to enjoy your eternal reward. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The liturgy of the Word contains scripture readings. And it is really in the reading of scriptures that we get the comfort that we long and seek in our lives on moments like these. So I will invite our first reader. And the first reader will read a first reading from the letter of St. James. Thank you. 
my sisters and brothers, I read to you from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. From chapter 2, verses 20, chapter 8, verses 22 to 26. Jesus and his disciples came to Bethsaida, and some people brought to him a man, a blind man, whom they begged him to touch. He took the blinded man by the hand and led him outside the village. Then, putting spittle on his eyes and laying his hands on him, he asked, Can you see anything? The man who was beginning to see replied, I can see people. They look like trees to me, but they are walking about. Then he laid his hands on the man's eyes again, and he saw clearly, and he was cured. And he could see everything plainly and distinctly. And Jesus sent him home, saying, Do not even go into the village. My sisters and brothers, the good news, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Our first reading from the letters of James. A short reading comprising five chapters in the New Testament, just uh, before the end of the book of the Bible, Revelation. And in the Old Testament, the Old Testament days, the dispersion of the Jewish people, it meant that a new diaspora was formed. The Jews who had emigrated from their own country, and the writer is using it here to, to, to explain that he is talking about the Jewish Christians who were living in Greco-Roman country or Greco-Roman world. In other words, they were out of the, the place of their birth. And so they encountered some difficulties in adjusting to the culture and to the language and everything else that will cause a difference to someone if you are not based on your own home turf. And so James continues to write to these people, writing to them because they're in a different land. And he wants them to hold firm to the faith. He wants them to keep firm to the teachings that they received. And one of the main things that he would have written to them is to be doers of the word and not merely hearers. He's reminding them that notwithstanding the fact that they are in a different land and they are not among their own people that they should keep their eyes on Jesus and they should persevere in faith now that would be a very important message that James is writing to these people about because there is sometimes a tendency when we are not on our home ground and we are not on our own people and we are not present you know, in the comfort zone of those who know us, there can be a tendency to throw good values behind our back and sometimes we say when you're in Rome, you have to do as the Romans do. But James is reminding 
the, the Jews who are now living under Grecian and Roman laws that they were to hold firm to what they have been taught and to do not deviate from the truth that were passed on to them. My dear brothers and sisters, we are like the people to whom James has written this letter. Because sometimes we find ourselves in exile situations. Sometimes we find ourselves alienated. We find ourselves, you know, cast aside. We find ourselves with so many debilitating situations and circumstances over which we have no control and over which, you know, we're not of our makings. And sometimes we can feel desolate, we can feel empty, we can think that all hope is lost and therefore there is nothing worth living for in life. How many of us, my beloved brothers and sisters, have had to endure sufferings of one type or the other? Sufferings that seem never ending. You're in a relationship and you know, when will this thing change? When will I come out of it? Or one, when will one of us die first so that we can be saved? You may have to cope with or deal with or to love with a sick spouse or a child with special needs. You may have trials of one sort or the other, trying to keep yourself healthy and trying to keep yourself, you know, whole. It's a whole work in progress. And even the basic living sometimes becomes daunting. We can easily lose hope. We can easily lose trust. And those things that we have been taught from our cradle days, it is imperative that we learn and we understand how to hold on to them, how to hold on to them for their life. Because St. James reminded the Jews who are now living in a new diaspora that it was important that they remain doers of the world and not only hearers. We have gathered together today and as much as so many people come out here today and in such radiance and splendor in your uniform and in non-uniform, but everybody well put together. People took time out, you know, to make an impression, dress to impress, because after all, it's Deschel's funeral that we're going to. Amen. We just couldn't go looking any old how. So I compliment you, all of you, for the time you have taken to put yourself together today to come to say it here with our sister. But when I listen to the, the eulogy and I listen to the tribute, I couldn't hear any more after a while. Because as a preacher, I would normally say, if I didn't know much about a person, the eulogy, the tribute, they are normally my point of edification. So sometimes when you hear me preaching away, it is simply because I sit and I listen and I listen and I listen intently of the things that were said. But I tell you today, I was overwhelmed. After I listened to so very many, I'll simply say, good things. 
my concentration level was saturated. And I said to myself, this is a woman who rose from birth to almost 35 years and whose journey through life took her through so many places. I was able to zero in on the last part of having entered the police service and within no time she did not go like a jet. In fact, she went like a rocket. And I can understand why. If you tell me that anybody who already has eight subjects, ones and twos, chilling out, taking a time out, doing five more subjects. I saw the reaction of the eulogist and I said, there couldn't be any other reaction to somebody as bright as that. Okay. So when I heard of her transcendence in the service, I realized it was because of her dedication. It was simply because she was a doer of the world rather than a hero. Even before becoming a woman police constable. You know, her movements were many. And she worked in, 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 in high places and among high people. And I must say, that had to be a gift to her parents from God. It had to be a gift to her grandparents. It had to be a gift to her siblings. It had to be a gift to her community and to her friends. Her dedication to work and to study spoke tremendously of the person called Daisha Jamila Lord Samuel. I would imagine that any parents would be proud to have had a child like that. Any grandparents, Vicky and Colonel and the Lord, you know, would be proud to have had a grandchild like that. And then, of course, when she went into the, 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 the service at the end of all the other places, her presence must have always been like the icing on the cake in a department. As an employer, surely you would have been delirious with joy and proud to the hill to have had a community, a communi uh, uh, an employee, committed, dedicated, educated, like our sister. Her personality and her qualifications, of course, surely would have drawn her to become part of the, the inception, the origin of the Children's Authority section of the TTPS. Today we have gathered together, and the eulogist said, that they didn't want to cry in. And I can understand why. You know, I have been here. I had a mandate. I did not sit and wait, waste time. I did what was expected of me. And two days short of my 35th year, I'm gone. Some may ask, why? Why so quick? Why so short? You know, there is so much in her life that has to be lived. Looking at what has already been lived and the potential and the rate at which she was prospering, why would God take her so quickly? My sisters and brothers, you and I will never know the answer. I will not, I will not pretend to give you a guess. I will not be so pretentious. But what I do know without a doubt is that God has a bigger plan. Amen. That Dacian's death will not end in death, but will end in new life. Because of her, her life and her passion for life, and because God has called her back from this world to, to, to re, unto reward, from this world unto rewards. There will be new changes. You and I can never begin to comprehend the plan and the purpose of God. 
our human mind cannot conceptualize all of what God has in store for us. God gives us glimmers and, and little, little um, nippets, you know, to keep us going. But there will be too much for us to understand. And I'm saying to you today that God has a plan and a purpose in calling such a, 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 a beautiful, vivacious, educated, entrepreneurial person back. Such a gift that one would want to hold on to and to cherish. Sharon, I know they shall have the joy and pride of your life. And Dave, having inherited such a beautiful gift, I guess you already mentioned the name, but anyway, you did not say what. Um, Jabari, what do I say to you today? God introduced you, He led you to, and He brought you to this beautiful woman, and then He takes her back. A little Medea, Jenny, she will not know her mom, but Granny is there, Granddaddy's, Granny, Great Granny is there aunts and the uncles. The aunts particularly will call after the mothers. I'm saying, in the absence of Deshel, all the maternal instincts of all the females in the life of this child will be refreshing and will be revived. The body is going to be Daddy and mommy, you know, we had a, a gentleman in our parish here who would celebrate Mother's Day because when his wife died, a young woman, he made both the mother and the father of his children. Today he is an ordained deacon in the Catholic Church. My dear brothers and sisters, Looking in a mirror and getting a reflection of ourselves and then walking away and forgot and forgetting what we just saw is a very dangerous thing. To remember what we see and to cherish the impressions that we had of what we see. Today, gathered here, the casket beautifully draped in the TTPS funereal drapery. We have gathered together and later on or before some may have said, well, what's she looking Oh, she looks she's really sweet, you know. She's a sweet and devil, she's alive. I want to say to you that when we leave here today, it cannot be life as usual. I went to Deshev's funeral and something happened. When I looked at the casket, or more so when I looked into it, I saw a reflection of myself. Because each time we go to a funeral, we remember that where we are, she once was. But it is also factual that where she is now, you and I, all of us in our turn, will be there one day too. When we think of her life, when we ponder about her life, and we ponder about the goodness and the kindness and the generosity of this woman, you know, we, we must ask ourselves, well, you know, if I were called as early in life as she is, can I make the bread? What is it about her life that you would want to emulate? You see, everybody has a star. Whether it's me, 
a sportsman, whether it's, it's an artist, everybody has a sports, everybody has a hero. Everybody is somebody's hero. But what values do we draw? What values do we hold on to? What values do we emulate from these people? I listen to the, to the qualities, good and good and more good, being expressed so eloquently about this woman who compact within such a very short time in life, touched and impacted the life of so very many people. Today when our children are becoming an endangered species, to be chosen, maybe even handpicked. I see nothing wrong with that because she is duly and eminently qualified to be one of the initiating members of the service, you know, in the service, responsible for the care of children. It is not by chance that persons will be selected to work in such a sensitive area. Because it's not just it's not just a job going from paycheck to paycheck. Also, as in fact, being a member of the T TTPS is. What I, what, I, what I found very interesting is that when I listen to you know, all the jobs that they shall held leading up to becoming a WPC, you know, I'll be honest, the preacher's about to be honest, I was a little bit puzzled, you know, uh, about the transition she made. But I realized that God moves in mysterious ways. That God writes straight on crooked lines. And that he had a path marked out and mapped out for her. And if it was leaving all the other jobs to come through this aspect of the police service, to be elevated to the place where he eventually died in service, then God will surely have in his way. And we must say to God be the glory for great things you have done. So from the moment he said to Sharon, like the angel saying to, to Mary, Mary, you are with child by the Holy Spirit. And at the presentation of the child, Simeon, a man of God, who saw Jesus for the first time, and who the, prof the prophet had prophesied to him that he will not die until he placed his eyes on the Lord. He said to Mary, he said to Mary, a sword of sorrow will pierce your heart. But I am sure, on the other hand, when Sharon became pregnant with Desha, the Lord would have said to her that this child is destined for great things. It is only when we look at things in hindsight that we really see how perfect and how true they are. Sharon, we have seven. We are knowing about what they're talking about, whatever. But today we can glowingly speak of this young woman and say, indeed, her life has been a success. And we thank God for the gift. We thank God for for the timeline, the timeline of her life. A bit of an unusual timeline, you know. Having been around here about nine months or so before the 11th of February, 1987, and then making her exit on the 9th of February, 2022. Just two days short of ringing in another birthday. We can ask ourselves from sunrise the sunset, how did she fill the gap? A timeline that expanded for 34, 363 days. 
33 children in a whole year. And many of you have expressed it. It was expressed in the eulogy, and it was expressed surely in the tribune. That there were years well spent, a beautiful timeline, but indeed one that some would say was too short. But we can't question God, because I'll tell you, there will always be more questions than answers. So today, it is with a sense of appreciation, a sense of joy, a sense of thanksgiving to God that we are giving back to him something that he loaned to us in the first case. It is important for us to understand that we are, we are gifts on loan to our parents and our children are gifts on loan to us by God. And there comes a time when all of us, parents, children, 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 must return to our God and maker and must give an account of our stewardship here on earth. I have no reason to doubt that shark that Gishel may have died singing this beautiful hymn. It is well. It is well. It is well with my soul. <clears throat> to the God who in his generosity on the 11th of February 1987 gave this world a gift to her parents. And the name had Deshel, Jamila, beautiful names. And cherish her and love her as a gift from God. And who grow into be a well rounded, no pun intended, person. And was indeed blessed with a gift of her own child. Today we say to that God, be to him be glory, to him be honor, to him be praise forever. Because in life or in death, we belong to the Lord. There shall is no less belonging to the Lord than when she was alive. As a matter of fact, in death, one's life comes into perfection because one is no longer capable of sinning. One is no longer capable of, 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 of shortchanging the Lord. Once you have sought and saved up your treasures and you are united with, 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 with the saints in, in, in heaven, what a day of rejoicing it will be. For you and I who are left, to continue our earthly journey, our day, our time, our hour, our moment will come. We are left with today's message. Be doers of the word and not hearers. Be speakers of the truth. Do not live by illusions. For the uniform people of which Nation was a part. I say to you, you are charged with a very, very special responsibility. And I just, I, I guess, as as, as Deshel would say, let us take the honor that has been placed upon us with the with the intensity that is required to be servers, to be exemplars. It is not always easy, as life itself is not, and as so many careers are not. The risks on your life, sometimes ask you, did I make the right decision? I say to you, yes. 
And this is why at the church we pray for first responders and we pray for, 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 for people who place themselves at the risk of serving others. Whether you are a Christian or not, look at the model of Jesus. Did he have to die on the cross? He didn't. But he came to serve. And while we trust and we pray that you would have long, healthy lives in the service, we pray that God will always look upon you and look upon your families. Because indeed, you place yourself at great risk and in harm's way so that we can sleep in the night, that we can walk in peace during the day. And for all of that, and for all of you, and for people like our beloved sister, we will give God the glory, the honor, the praise, and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. 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 I invite us to stand, please. God the Almighty Father raised his son Jesus Christ from the dead. With confidence we ask him to save all his people living and dead. We pray for our sister Deshel, who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life that she may now be admitted to the company of the saints. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. For our sister who ate the body of Christ, the bread of life, and was nourished on the word of God, that she may be raised up on the last day. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. And for all of our deceased relatives and friends, and for all who have helped us along life's journey, that they may have the reward of their goodness, Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. For those who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, that they may see God face to face. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. For the family and the friends of our sister, they shall, that they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord who wept at the death of his friend Lazarus. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. And for all of us assembled here to worship in faith, that we may be gathered together again in God's kingdom. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. God, our shelter and our strength, you listen in love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayers we offer for our departed brothers and sisters. Cleanse them of their sins and grant them the fullness of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. We are members of God's family, sons and daughters adopted through one common baptism. And so we pray the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Thank you. 
there are still some consequences to the field of the field. My brothers and sisters, we come to what is called in the liturgy the final commendation. And during this period, during this period, we have some little symbolic rites that we perform. And I explain to you what they are. Firstly, we sprinkle the coffin. Yes, I did it at the beginning, at the entrance of the door, which was the welcome. But now the waters of baptism is a reminder. This water, the sprinkling, is a reminder of the baptism in and through which they shall became an adopted daughter of God through baptism, became a sister of Jesus Christ, became a member of the church. Then we place some herbs on the cup and we can treat that. And then there is the incensing. We incense the body because the scripture says, Know you not that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit? And therefore, our bodies must be honored with Christian burial. We need to honor the burial, the body. And as the incense rising, the fragrance of the incense, we trust that the, the body is received, the soul sorry, is received. And find a rightful place in the hands of God and in the company of those who have gone before. And then, finally, we have an option of how we treat with the earth. The, the, the rite of committal is then done, the prayers are said, and the earth can be sprinkled at the coffin. So, I invite us now to be prepared for the final commendation, and during that time, we normally do the hymn, we say do it, into your hands.
beloved in Christ, we have gathered together to get to commend our sister Deshal Jamila to God our Father and to commit her body to the earth in the spirit of faith in the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Let us offer our prayer to our sister Deshal. <laughs> because God has called our sister Deshel Jamila from this life to himself we commit her body to the earth For we are dust, and unto dust we shall return. But the Lord Jesus Christ will change our mortal bodies to be like his in glory. For he is risen, the firstborn from the dead. So let us commend our sister to the Lord, that the Lord may embrace her in peace and raise up her body on the last day. <laughs> Let us bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Eternal rest, eternal peace grant unto her, O Lord. May she rest in peace. May her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. I invite us now to stand. We want to give farewell to our beloved sister. Please always use our hands as a sign. We never say farewell unless we raise our hands. And so I'm inviting you from where you stand. If you feel so moved and it doesn't come from my your faith, I would want you to repeat. So I'm just going to say these words. You can just say farewell. And you can repeat after me. They shall. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you. And lead you to the holy city. The new and eternal Jerusalem. May the choirs of angels welcome you. And lead you to the bosom of Abraham. And where Lazarus is poor no longer, may you, Deshel Jamila Samuel, find eternal rest. Amen. So there may be some house announcements in terms of how we proceed. I am not quite sure what's happening, but um, good evening, everyone. Um, the viewing will be taking place outside, and we are asking quality assistance with the viewing. We will start from the back pew. Allow everybody to view and we leave the family members for last. We ask that you cooperate. Again, social distance. I'll be here directing from the back. And we proceed from there. Thank you. Just a
just to let you know that um, the HSC protocol of the church to avoid congregating, to avoid congregating and lack of physical distancing. The church has actually mandated that there is no viewing of bodies, COVID or otherwise. And normally we will have a viewing at the cemetery. But I told you at the beginning of the service that um, nothing is written in stone and we can, make, we can tweak things according to the situation and the circumstance. And this is one of the, the, the permission that was granted um, because the police service is here. Um, the officers off or on duty will be able to, to assist us with having everyone view in a place where, well, we shouldn't be viewing, but because of the, the order that we expect to have because of your presence here, we have made that change. So stay in your seat. Um, we are asking the family to go last because normally when the family goes, they stay. So we put in them last to allow the viewers to view and move on and then to leave an open space for the family to say their farewell. Thank you for your cooperation. So please take your seat if there's a final, you know, and then, so for right now, the, the bearers uh, will, and I would lead the,
So I know He watches me. Heal all my strength. Strength. Like no other. Strength like no other.
Alright.